What up ladies and gents, it's the morning, so I thought to myself, you know what, why don't I just in this quarantine time, just take a video a little bit about how I have my breakfast, um, I stay true to the greens, you know what I mean, so this is what we need man, a blender, we got a blender at home, uh, mine is not that big, this one is also fine, it's pretty cheap actually, but, um, let me get the other piece to the puzzle, which is this one right here. Okay, so this, you mount onto this, plug it in, and you got yourself a blender. It's called Platinum. And then you got this USN uh, bottle. You can use any bottle actually if you want, you know. I also got this bottle, but I use this for water, strictly for water. Um, so yeah, any bottle that you want. This one is about 500 milliliters. 600 milliliters to be exact because you know this is just the measurement of 500 and then you need a knife and you need a saucepan what is this called again and you need a saucer plate small plate whatever plate you want to use it's fine you need to use a tray whatever so this is the ingredients so the ingredients usually vary this time around i've got Grapes, uh, bananas, cucumber, carrots. Um, I think I'm out of grapefruit. I usually have grapefruit. I bought oranges. <laughs> I bought new oranges actually. So I'm good to go for the winter. Hold up. Let me cut this open. Orange. Uh, and an apple could be green, could be red, could be whatever you like. Um, potato. Left. There's one more left. Okay, so I have one more potato left. Almost out. But yeah, we'll also use a potato, raw potato, not cooked. Everything here is raw. But trust me, it's gonna be good. Then what you need to finish it off is. A little bit of some juice, whatever juice you have, concentrated juice. Um, I'm gonna mix this a little bit with some water. I usually freeze my water overnight so that I have ice throughout the day and when I keep refilling, I have cold water. Okay, I filled it with water, so I'm just gonna let it melt a little bit. And then we're good to go. Let's get started. I'm gonna start with some carrots. Right here, the carrot, one carrot, chop it up. So this is breakfast guys, you literally don't have to eat anything else for the rest of the morning, just drink this, you'll be fine till about past 12. So think about it, like throughout the night you've had time to detox some of your food from yesterday, uh, it's kind of like a low fast because you didn't eat all night, hence you usually wake up hungry uh, with the bad breath and everything. So imagine having that and then adding onto that some fruits and vegetables. Your body just absorbs that, you know. It's not battling with any other foods. And then I'm gonna add the apple. And this will also be nice if you like um, mix it up with a workout routine, maybe later on in the day, whatever. I usually do some cardio um, around four o'clock after I eat my lunch. Lunch, like by lunchtime, that's where you can be more flexible. You know, lunch to dinner, it's fine. This is just for the morning, so it's not to say eat healthy all the time you know this is also good for beginners you know just know that okay in the morning let me at least get it right and then afterwards it's fine get it what you want but you want to at least have a balanced diet you know um we add the potato we'll cut it in half only have half of the potato put the rest in the fridge Ah, 
Ah! Just make sure you don't cut yourself in this process, okay? You can't even cut a potato. I can cut a potato. I was just getting too excited. I cook a lot, okay? I cook more than us. I cook more than you in this. No, you don't. I do. And I'm Your the, definition of cooking. And I'm the better cook. No, you're not. By the way. His definition of cooking is putting noodles in a pot and frying chicken. I even make and noodles dope. That's it. He makes I even noodles. make the best noodles. She's noodles once admitted this, by the way. You, yeah, that's why you can own noodles. I don't care. It's noodles. I own noodles but and everything else. But that's all you do. You just boil noodles and that's all you say. And then you say, oh, I cooked. There's an art to it. It boils. He just boils stuff. No, I don't he just. Likes, he I don't enjoys just. Boiling. I enjoy boiling and grilling. That's Don't you boil do. most foods that you cook? He just boils down foods that they come about flavor that just boils. You're lying, I have the best flavor ever. Yeah. Chop it up into smaller pieces so that it's easier for the blender. See, we're putting them in. Let's put it in. Um, and then maybe I'll add a bit of the cucumber. I've learned now not to put cucumbers in the fridge because, yo, this thing messes it up. Like, I have some messed up ones there as well, like they soft. Chop up a bit of that. Maybe we'll about that size. Okay. Then, I'm gonna add some grapes. I usually buy half and half, green and red. I'm always undecided about which one I want, so I usually just buy both. There you go, kind of filled. So what I'm gonna do now, because I have a small blender, if you have a bigger blender, you don't have to do what I'm about to do. Um, but otherwise, you can start blending what we have so far. So I'm going to add a bit of the juice, not too much. There you go. And then my water. Pour it until about halfway. You see, over there, around me. You don't want to pour it too much. It's going to be too watery. You want to at least also have. You know that fruit, that fruity taste. You don't need to be like complete water. You want it to be a smooth. Okay, then we're gonna start blending. Looks like yogurt, don't it? With mine, I have to keep holding the button, so that's why I uh, try to maybe blend it for about uh, a minute at least. Okay, just want to make sure most of the stuff are properly blended. It's about right. Then, I'm going to pour about a quarter in it so there's more space and then I'm gonna add more ingredients to it. Now I'm gonna add a banana. By the way with the gymming thing I was talking about it's not like I do it every day. Sometimes I do it literally once a week, sometimes twice a week. You know the most I would do is three times a week nowadays. I used to be more consistent with it so that is why I am not that you know built I guess. But uh, maybe I should start getting focused again. I don't know. I get lazy sometimes. But this also, like these type of meals, give you energy. So the more you do it, the more motivated you are. Then I'm gonna add this orange. Also, try and make sure you don't cut yourself with it. Oh, another nice thing. Why I have the laptop <clears throat> is 
just because I have this video today, that's why I'm not playing anything. But I usually also entertain myself while I do this because as you can see, it's a pretty tedious job. So it's like for me, when I wash dishes or cook or do anything tedious, I like to entertain myself. Either way, I, like I either wear headphones and listen to music, <coughs> listen to some albums, or I just watch something off YouTube or Netflix. Mostly YouTube because Netflix, I probably want to see the visuals more. So I wanna like entertain myself. That is more audio based. If I can listen to it like an interview or a song, performance or whatever it is, then I can do that while I do this. And you'll find that time will just go by. By the time you notice you're done, and you're just like, oh, okay, my smoothie's done. I can carry on with my day. I think these oranges are the final touch. So like I said, sometimes the ingredients vary. I usually have spinach here as well, but the spinach is finished. So I add some spinach. I didn't have the carrots before. I just bought the carrots. So I had some spinach and then the smoothie would be green. That's when it looks like it's a real help <laughs> juice. Don't forget to pack away your stuff. Don't leave it lying around. I'm gonna blend these ones as well. What are you guys watching on the internet? Tory Tory Lanez, you crazy dude. Okay, and then I think that's about it. I did cut myself, I can feel the pain. Doesn't usually happen, by the way. Woohoo! Looks like purity. Look at that. That's some of them. Fill it up to the brim. Then I usually have leftovers and I usually give it to this person here. Close it up. Mix it up. And you got yourself a smoothie. Breakfast. You got yourself some breakfast. And then I usually just drink the rest. Sometimes. Sometimes she asks for it. Sometimes I just drink it. Do you want it? Then I drink it. Classico. Superno. Excellent. The nice thing about this, you don't even take like the potatoes and stuff. I'm sure like some of you guys are like, ew. But you don't. You just taste the goodness only. That's why I also add the juice and stuff. And then we're done. That's it, guys. Make sure in the quarantine you eat healthy. At least, you know, this is the time when you could do that. You have the time to do all of this stuff, experiment with all of these different things. You know, it's good for your health. Also boost your immune system in the process. Um, what I also usually do is after I eat my food, like lunch or dinner, I have tea with lemon. So let me show you actually. So I know this is probably weird. I don't know how many of you guys do this, but I mix two tea bags. So I would have the Ceylon tea and some green tea. And then what I do is I add a slice of lemon as well. And that's it. So when you're good, after, after you eat, it's good to just wash down with it. Um, speed your metabolism boost your immune system, you know, add some alkaline in your body so that we don't just have uh, acid. So it's good to just balance out your diet. So you don't have to completely stop everything you eat, you know, like 
some of the people suggest you do if you want to ease into it like I am because I am also not vegan or anything I just do some of this stuff just to you know balance out my diet it's not just also it's not just for weight by the way it's also just for health you know for good conscious even <laughs> Okay guys, so that's about it man, that's it for the video, thank you for tuning in, try and make sure that you get these ingredients so, and also comment down below if you maybe have other ingredients that you may suggest, other ways that you have your breakfast that is healthy and effective, thank you. Stick up, stick up,